I started out as a, a freelance anything. I was doing a bit of graphic design, a bit of coding, a bit of email. But over time, the niche that I kind of went into was SEO copywriting, because I just saw a gap in the market, particularly for a female. It was a very male dominated market. Um, and I saw that people really didn't understand how copywriting and SEO could come together. That's a good question. I started out my career writing for a company that sold day planners and time management training. And my job was to create content and copy for the catalogs, for the mailers that we sent out. And it was through doing that and trying to make that as engaging as we possibly could, because we were writing about the same products in you know, catalog after catalog after catalog, but we were trying to change it up to make it more interesting, more compelling, more you know, curiosity driven. And I think that experience just taught me that uh, the content that you know, a company puts out creates a relationship, or um, if it's not necessarily a relationship, it's, it's a bond between you know, a, a customer who's reading about and considering purchasing a product and finally purchasing and the company that's actually providing the products and then you know through creating a that brand that bond um you know content plays a crucial role well before setting up collective content i'd spent um many years in journalism i started out as a reporter and become an editor and eventually a publisher and, and back then, it was around the time of the, the big recession from sort of 2008 through to 2009, etc. And, and money was really falling out of media because advertising was changing a lot. And I could see the money going into uh, paid commercial content. Uh, people call it lots of different things, but you could see that happening. And so I started to work on a business plan to set up a unit, which was very much to, to cater to those kind of clients who wanted to spend money and have more control over what they do, but still have it to really high standards. Uh, and eventually I, I kind of ran with that business plan, but instead went and set up my own company to, to make that happen.